We were bringing a whole bunch of cool little bits to help you make your life easier out on the job. Some of them you liked, some of them you didn't. But today I got another one. I'm going to toss it in my cordless drill and hopefully show you how to get rid of a headache that you might be experiencing on the job. We're bringing your cordless drill experience up to the next level. Not only will I think this bit help save you some time and some money, I'm also hoping it'll help assist you from damaging your materials. Now we got a piece of MDF right here. MDF, drywall, doesn't really matter. This is basically what happens sometimes if you're using a cordless drill. You pull that trigger a little bit too much or you're not paying attention and it goes down way too deep. So now you're worrying about splitting your material and not only that, you have to worry about your job not looking very good. Think about deck screws. You want to make sure that everything looks flush, everything looks even. And that's where this bit adapter comes in. This is the DeWalt Adjustable Depth Screw Setter. Now, this is not the only one out on the market. You got some other ones that are a little bit more pricey. I'll talk about those here in a bit, but I want to show you how this thing works and also show you how it might allow you to do certain jobs that you wouldn't be able to do with a cordless drill otherwise. Now, I will tell you straight out, this thing is built amazingly well. But for the Phillips bit that they give you, well, toss it, throw it away, it's junk. Now, if we were just putting a screw in with our cordless drill, well, we would not have any idea on how to gauge how deep we need it to be, and sometimes we just make the mistake of going too far. This adapter allows us to adjust the depth of the screw, and it will sink perfectly every single time. Now, how do we do this? Well, I'm going to show you, but let me give you a demonstration real quick first. Now, we are switching out the Phillips for the Torx. We already set our depth adjustment. And now I do not have to worry about going any deeper than that if I didn't want to. However, if I wanted to go even deeper, around a quarter of an inch max, well, I could do that and sink every other screw to the perfect depth. This will not only prevent your work from splitting, but it'll make it look uniform as well. Now, this is how it works. We're going to screw this top piece off right here. This is where your bit goes in. These are the smaller insert bits. And you can see you have a ring right here. You do not have to take that off. I am just trying to give you the best overall view. Now you can put any type of insert bit into this adapter. Now I will tell you that the Milwaukee, it does get a little snug in there and hard to get in and out. The DeWalt's work fine, but I found that the Makita Gold's work the best. Now one of the complaints that I did have about this adapter was there was no magnetic ring in this. I had no idea why they decided not to put one in. Maybe it was a copyright type of deal, but I wish it was there. That said, with the Makita Gold, you can also run those through a magnetizer and it's ready to go. It'll do the same thing. Now we're just going to screw this back down on top like so. That is going to be our adjuster ring. Once you get that down to the position you want, you can readjust if needed to make it more precise. Now we're going to screw on our cap. It basically looks like an air compressor nozzle. You can see with the way we have it adjusted, that bit is in further. That means it is not going to drive down as far. Remember, the further that bit stands out, the further down it will drive that screw. But you can see we made this almost perfectly flush. And now if I wanted to drive in another screw with the exact depth, well, no issue there. What happens is the top of this actually stops the screw from going any further. Now if I wanted to drive that in about a quarter of an inch, I can bring that all the way down and watch what happens. So the head of this adapter actually stops the screw from going down any further. Now what's nice about this is if you do not want to go out and spend a lot of money on a different type of tool such as a drywall screw gun, this would actually allow you to hang that drywall, put those screws in, sink the depth perfect every single time. Now the other ones that you can find a little bit more expensive, they have a rubber gasket out on top of it so you don't damage any of the drywall. But you can see on here, I am sinking these to the same exact depth every single time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bunch of different screws and then I am just going to sink them all and see what happens. And there you go, no matter how hard I push on that drill or if I don't let go of that trigger fast enough, I don't have to worry about it going too far down into my material. And if I wanted to go deeper, I could just like those four screws right there. Now, the price that I found this, it was only $5 on Amazon. For what this does, I really do not think you can beat that price. 
And not only will it work in your cordless drill, it will work in your impact driver as well. The one thing that I will tell you that drives me a little bit batty is the more you use it, the tighter those collets get. So if you plan on adjusting the depth a lot, then you might want to keep a pair of pliers next to you. If not, then you can use this continuously. I do like that spring on the back. It's going to prevent you from damaging your drill or your impact driver. As it goes for ease of use, really, really simple to use this. Really simple to get your depth adjusted and really simple to keep it there. I would not suggest you use the Phillips bit that comes with it. It's junk and will strip out immediately. I would also suggest that you do not use the Milwaukee because those bits are a little bit too snug and hard to get out. The Makitas, on the other hand, work very well with this attachment. The other thing I would have liked to have seen is the magnetic ring on this. Not sure why they did not put it on. It's a little bit of a disappointment, but all in all, if you can magnetize your bit, you won't have an issue. So I'm curious of what you think about this bit. Will this help you sink those screws in a lot better than what you would without them? You know, keeping that depth is really important so you don't split your wood and making everything look uniform. Would you buy this? If you have it, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, don't forget to smash that like button if you like this video or if it helped you in any single way. If it hasn't helped you in any single way, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so you don't miss out on any other tools coming your way. And it'd be great to see you on the Instagram page at Tool Review Zone. With that, we'll be back with more reviews soon.